Okay, welcome to rcflyers.com again for part two of image to PDF. And today we are going to uh, we're going to get an image from our website RC Flyers, as you can see here. We're going to go to the free plans, and we're going to download an image and get it ready to uh, clean it up and go to step two. So let's go to free plans and. Uh, here we go. Welcome to the home's largest scratch built jet plane 3D view collection in the world. Scroll down a bit until you get to click here to access the entire database, which there's about 3,000 plus uh, jets, as you can see here now. I'll just scroll down to show you how many there are. And it's just, the list goes down and on and on forever. And we go a bit, we go back to 1,000 planes or more. This is another page. Here we go. More pictures, 3D views, some JPEGs, TIFF, GIFs, PNG, perhaps even some PDF, so back. And then again, uh, more jets and planes, again, totaling in the, the hundreds, so all kinds of stuff. All right, let's go back now to the parent directory, and today I've chosen to choose the MX-72, so let's click on that. And there it is. Uh, so we're going to right click, save as, and put it on the desktop. In, my, in this case, I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to overwrite it. Okay, so let's go back, back again, back again, back again, and again. One more time to the main page, and back to rc flyers.com. All right, let's minimize that. Now, we have our picture here, which we've downloaded. This is the one right here. Let's open that up and discuss this a little bit. So we're gonna just double click. In my case, it's gonna open with Earth and View. It's a little picture of a cat here. We'll talk a lot about Earth and View. Last time we talked about Paint.net, but uh, as I mentioned, there's gonna be more than one program. So Paint.net is uh, my primary one, and Earth and View is, uh, we're gonna show you all kinds of tricks with Earth and View to resize, to straighten out, to uh, do all kinds of other things. So the first thing is this. If you look at this picture right now, you'll notice that the, the background is grayish. It's not white. So what we want is it for to be nice and white like a, like a, a, a white sheet of paper. So I'm just gonna go over to the next picture. I'm not sure if this is gonna go where I want it to, but I've already cleaned one up. There we go. All right, so this is what I've already done. This is what we had. This is what we want. So the question is, how do we get to a nice, white, clean background like that? Well, what it was is that I was on here. Uh, this is the original picture with the blue background. And I went to Image. And I scrolled down to Color Correction, even though it's black and white. Go to Color Correction. And from here, we have two things we can use to make this background from blue, light blue, to nice and white, which is Gamma and Contrast. So by increasing gamma, you see the picture starts to get washed out. And by increasing contrast, whoops, it gets even whiter. So I've got this like, you can just play with it. Contrast is at 53, gamma is at 1.9 or just about two. Let's click okay and go in the background and see how it turns out. Well, there we go. Nice, clean and clear. So now, of course, you're gonna to wanna to save it like that. So you're gonna to wanna to go up to File, Save As, not Save in Original, because you, you're just gonna, well, it doesn't matter. Save As, and in my case, I renamed it MX72A. And I went Save, and it says, do you want to overwrite this file? Yes, and I'm done. So we can now go Exit, Earth and View. All right, that is step one. Step two, let's open paint.net. There's the icon. Take a few seconds to open that up. And let's go to the desktop, which is where I saved the MX72. So open. Desktop MX72A, 
open. And there we are. This is our picture that we've cleaned up and made it uh, the background much nicer and cleaner. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Okay, there we go. So obviously, if you zoom in a lot, you'll see that it, there's still a lot of residue. Let me see how close I can get there. You see there's a lot of residue here. So we may want to carefully fill this in. So what we can do is use the, uh, the little paint bucket, which is actually called Flood Fill. So there we go, we have a paint bucket. And we'll go all the way across the other side and go from black to white. So if the top one is white, this is what you're filling with. If it's black, then you'll be filling this with black. So let's see. The tolerance is 50%. In other words, fill these gaps here as much as you can and as close as the pixels as you can without overwriting them. If 50% is too much, we'll bring it down to 45. Let's have a look. Let's fill this. So you just click anywhere, and here's what happened. Let's go have a closer look. So the gray is totally, totally gone. All that's left is the ulterior lines. So that wouldn't be too, too bad. Uh, now to get into the interesting part of removing everything we don't need, because all we're trying to get is the actual outline. So uh, at the risk of making this video too, too long, I'll just start it, and then I'll make part three um, as a middle or perhaps uh, the final section of explaining what we do here. So we're in paint.net and now we're going to change our tool. We're going to go over here to the rectangle. And then we're going to go to the top here on the rectangle and make the rectangle solid color. And we're going to make sure that it's white over here. And now watch what you can do. Start a bit away from it and then move over and take that off by making a, a square that has white paint in it. So just go like this, slide across, get rid of all these lines. There we go. Anything that needs to be gone will disappear by just click and slide over. Click, slide over. Click, slide over. Click, slide over. So, and we just keep going like this. Of course, I'm not going to do the whole thing because we're going to I'm going to show you more of that in the next video. So this is what we need to do. We need to get rid of all these lines because we just want to keep the outline. The whole point is to keep the outline. All right? All right, let's stop here and continue on the next video. rcflyers.com. Thanks for watching.